Yes, yes, Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes. Before we proceed, I want us to listen to some remarks made by Nyeri women representative Mukami about one day ago. For the remarks are going to form the basis of our analysis and discussion right now. Initially, I was fighting for Parliamentary Service Commission, and uh, the president himself he had promised me that seat. Because when I was fighting, uh, when I was fighting for that position, I was alone. Everybody else was going for governor seat, telling us that uh, because we were given deputy president, now we should not get CSEs, we should not get uh, Parliamentary Service Commission. And you remember, it was only me and the deputy president in Yeri. And that is why we are seeing the members who have come back, all of them are new. So I am like, okay, good, we have uh, the deputy president, but he's in the executive. Nyeri County need to be represented in parliament. Yes. I don't know what you make or think of those remarks by Mukami. But it's clear Mukami is not happy with William Ruto. And I'm taking that as a sign of rebellion against William Ruto. And she's making it very clear if you go through the whole clip that when they were campaigning her colleagues on the mountain were going for gubernatorial seats. But William Ruto promised her that he was to influence her appointment in the Parliamentary Service Commission. But instead of being given that position, William Ruto is offering her a different position. So she is rejecting that position. I consider that an open rebellion against William Samuel Ruto. And it's also very interesting that that rebellion again is coming from Nyeri County. Because just yesterday, a group of three members of parliament, mainly from Nyeri County, defended Rigadi Gashagwa against some imaginary attacks from some people in government. And they made it very clear that some people in government were deliberately belittling Rigadi Gashagwa. And now Mukami is also just re rebelling and rejecting William Ruto's job offer. And just some few days ago, at a burial ceremony in Madeira constituency, Nyeri governor also insinuated that William Ruto no longer picks their calls. Yes. That's Nyeri governor. And now we are seeing Nyeri woman, woman representative. And yesterday, Nyeri senator also was insinuating, hmm, or rather was <coughs> trying to say that some people in government were belittling Rigazi Gashagwa. And just some few days ago again, Didi Nyoro dropped a bombshell on William Ruto that himself Didi Nyoro any or even Rigadi Gashagwa cannot see William Ruto without getting approval from Farouk Kibet. All these are just signs of rebellion, rebellion against William Ruto. And the center of rebellion on the mountain is most likely going to be Nyeri County. Let's dig deep to see exactly what is happening here. Yes. Any keen political observer will tell you that a rebellion is already brewing on the mountain against William Ruto. And that rebellion is starting from Nyeri. Because if you look at the Mount Kenya leaders who are already complaining about William Ruto's government, quite a good number of them are coming from Nyeri County. We have so far seen Nyeri governor complaining, Nyeri senator complaining, and now Nyeri women representative complaining, besides Mukuroini member of parliament also complaining. This rebellion seems to be emanating from Nyeri county. And I'm seeing a very high possibility where Nyeri is going to be the epicenter 
of rebellion in William Ruto's government. Yes, Nyeri is going to be the epicenter in the coming days. And if you look at it from another angle, I'm seeing a very high possibility where as rebellion starts from Nyeri, other Mount Kenya counties are also going to be roped into the rebellion. And I'm saying that because already in some areas of the mountain, we have also seen residents themselves also demonstrating and showing signs that they are not very happy with William Ruto's government. Immediately William Ruto was sworn in as the president, upon Ruto removing subsidies on fuel and on Unga, the first people to condemn that, or rather to cry foul, were Embu residents and border border <laughs> operators in Embu County. And they made it very clear that they, that's not what they elected William Ruto to do. So rebellion had already started. And now William Ruto also transferring Naivasha port to Mombasa, that will also be a center of rebellion. So this rebellion is, rebellion is just brewing up. And it's also going to be facilitated by the fact that William Ruto's government most likely will not be able to fulfill on their campaign promises. William Ruto promised a lot. He promised heaven to the hustlers. And more so looking at the residents of the mountain, they had a lot of hopes, a lot of expectations in William Ruto's government. But as this pass, or rather as time goes by, they are going to realize or to come to terms that those were just maybe hot air. Those were just promises. And there is where the rebellion is going to gain momentum. I'm seeing such kind of a possibility. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are also seeing some corruption cases being dropped against some leaders. We are seeing some <laughs> leaders being sanitized. So besides the mountain rebelling against William Ruto's government, across the country, I'm also seeing a rebellion brewing against William Ruto. In that William Ruto's government is being seen as a government that is just there to condone corruption. It's a government that is not going to fight corruption. So besides the rebellion, the rebellion on the mountain, other regions across the country are also going to rebel against William Ruto. And this is why I always maintain that William Ruto's government might pass out as the most unpopular government maybe since independence. And the main reason is because this is the government that really promised a lot to Kenyans more than any other, any other government. And Kenyans, most of the hustlers, were very much optimistic of this government. But th then now it turns out that this is the same government that is punishing those hustlers more than any other government. And the interesting bit about it is that the so-called dynasties, the people who are being branded dynasties, when William Ruto was on the campaign trail, are the people who seems to be enjoying in this government. They have gotten their freedom at the expense of the hustlers. So from where I sit, ladies and gentlemen, that portends a very bleak picture for William Samoy Ruto's government. And most likely, William Ruto, in my honest opinion, if politics is to be politics as it is, William Ruto might also go down in history as a one-time president. You know, William Ruto just set the record, or rather he just broke, he broke history, or rather he set history just the other day by being the first person to be elected on a first attempt as the president in Kenya. William Ruto might, might also pass out as, the, as a one-time president in Kenyan history. These are all possibilities that if only you tie the dots, you can just see them very, very clearly. 
William Ruto might pass out as a one-term president if all these things continue. And to add salt into injury, if the mountain can rebel against William Ruto, then you can rest be assured that William Ruto will be a one-term president. Yes. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. But even before I stop, if you are watching us for the very first time, just as I did indicate when we were starting, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humble, very grateful for the kind of support you're giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Any other person who wants over chant or a discussion with me or even to support this channel, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number or feel free to send a donation, a contribution to the number. To those watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. If possible, subscribe, give this video a like. Those sentiments by Nyeri Woman Representative, those are sentiments that are just showing clearly well that already a rebellion is brewing against William Ruto on the mountain. And that rebellion, the epicenter of that rebellion will most likely be Nyeri County. This is how some, sometimes this fallout do begins. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.